Although last time we were were to represent or representing the four the bank side of the debate. Which topic is ban or ban of single use plastic? As we all know, we use we use plastic we use plastic in our daily lives for the baking, for the baking food, creation and dry etc. But single use plastic we also use it, but it is worse than regular plastic. It can only be used once and it is not recyclable. Even if it is recyclable, it will cost a lot more than regular plastic. Over the years, the, the wastage of plastic has increased by 50 percent due to single use plastic. But all roses have their have cons. This literally means, in this case, that plastic might be useful at first when we use it for when we use it for storing uh, appliances, but but after the usage, what do we do with it? We throw it away, right? And dump it in. Compared to forest and seasons. Although, although it is recyclable, but due to the ban, due to China not taking to recycle plastic for recycling, the, the world has been recycling plastic by 0% of the ground. Almost 300 million tons of plastic waste is produced every single year. And due to making it, making new types of plastic that are cheaper and easier to the cost of recycling has increased. The cost of waste has increased greatly. Every year, plastic waste has increased by nine percent. If this goes on for any for any longer, the world will fall into mind. Seeing that plastic waste is nine percent, but when we look into it, we might see we will see that. The role of the plastic, the uh, consumption of plastic, the uh, company which makes plastic, trillion dollars, the economy continues to work every year. And uh, as for the single use plastic, uh, yes, it has the single uh, use plastic, uh, I don't uh, deny that single use plastic is bad, but the cost of it has also increased. Now people are getting the use of single plastic and uh, it's such as biodegradable. Plastics are not the same. Another counter is that uh, people might say uh, instead of plastic bags, we can use paper bags and get the thing. But seeing that paper bags generate 70% more air and 50 times more water per day than plastic bags. Question them. 
So just listen to them carefully, and if you think anything is not right or you want to speak about it, then you can question it. Right? The same thing with the court. Anything that you think is not applicable in what against it, you can question it. Right? So now, does anyone want to speak? For team and against team. You want to have your new points? Yeah. Any points, or if you come prepared with anything, you can still say it. Well, um, yeah, oh. there is actually no proof that we will still be there in a million years. But what if? What if we are still there? I ask the proof. What if? Any proof? There is lots of proof. But the one that I would like to say is because when it is right now we are ready. We have plenty. We do have plenty of uh, ways to survive if there are conflicts or anything or a natural disaster happens. We have the we have the safety shelters and we do have the medications. Any questions again? There is no proof that uh, that humanity will not be exist in existence or will be in existence. But by a million years, we could develop technology and have technology which could uh, recycle a uh, single use plastic or have not biodegradable plastic, which will be very advanced. 14. I agree, but uh, the direction that the world is going is through politics and not through development. So it's better that we ban single use plastics. Against team? Many things can actually change in a million years, and not every country is corrupted. No, they are not built by countries, but there are plenty of companies. On just only twenty percent of only twenty companies that are on earth, there are more. But twenty percent produce fifty percent of the plastic wastage annually. I like to back this up because companies work for profit and not for the people. So now our topic is single-use plastic, right? That is, can you have your attention against me, all of you? Yeah. So now we have two questions here, right? First one: If these items are banned, what will be our substitute? Did you guys think about this? Yes. 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 Okay. That is the first question. If these are banned, then what? Next, if we if we don't ban these, and continue, there's a lot of pollution, so you can't let this happen. So, what do you think about that? So, I want you guys to put your opinion on both the questions that I just spoke. Now, as speaking on the first point, that what if plastic is banned, what will happen? Plastic actually protects vulnerable products from damage by moisture, humidity, gas. Plastic is used in car manufacturing, many things. Plastic is used in tube lights and uh, for branding in businesses. It's easy to print things on plastic for branding, such as any advice of how to use the product. Like uh, plastic in car parts or in tube lights are more carbon than single-use plastic. Plastic currently, currently it, it won't be any plastic pollution and it won't hurt the environment. There, there is no company that we will use it properly because due to the due to current states, people are focusing more on money and rather not than on the environment. There will be a time when humans have to concentrate on environment and building properly. Yes, but that time that, will come. That will come, but before that, we can change. We can switch to jute and water. Higher sink banks. Can you explain what yeah, are the different materials we have? As option, it will take time for them to come to come in the whole world to use. It will take time, many years. What will you do by then? Till then, till then we can we can ban single use plastic. Yeah. So what are the alternatives? It will take time to for the. We can use we can use regular plastic. We can, we can start. We can use regular plastic because it's recyclable and less cost. And you are not going to in bulk, but we can start slowly, slowly by stopping the plastic. Plastic are used in frames of opticals, so it's required as for the stores. It can also be uh, the frames of opticals can be changed with stainless steel, and the uh, toys could be changed with woods. But nowadays the toys are made from plastic. But we can change it. Changes the necessary. Uh, plastic is poor uh, conductor of electricity, which is useful for making switches, cables, and so. We replace if it's banned with silicon or biodegradable plastic. Frames of glasses can also be made of biodegradable, uh, biodegradable plastic and also silicon. Mm -hmm. 
They can also uh, biodegrade in lightning questions. Question. Just one question can be any question. Just one. I didn't want to ban something. Just ban cigarettes and alcohol again. It's more harmful to the environment. Okay. Okay. One second. I would like to ask the question. Is there more harmful to the humans than the environment? Social planet. We are going to say by the use of plastic. Two plastic, but only one plastic. Are you doing? Then you can repeat it. Right? Are you ready, sir? Ready, sir. Only. What on this number one is the idea. When it comes to idea, I'm talking about the strength of the idea. How strong is the idea? Then how correct is the idea? If you are putting information that should be factually correct. Second thing is how you are using the total space on the sheet that is given to you. Third is the choice of colors. The skill, how skillfully you are doing the paint. Third one. Yeah. 
that is plastic should not be completely avoided you have a knife you have a match stick you can use the fire to cook you can burn a house so you should know the judgment you should for positive purposes not using the plastic match stick completely is not a solution the first case yes. so what's your counter any counter question <laughs> very hard to avoid completely so we have the three r's we have reuse in plastics we have recycled we have recycled in plastics so you know that does not even uh, cause harm to the environment you can take the same plastic which you use even if it is for like you use it more for more than one time and you can simply reuse it and use it again and you can continue that for a longer period of time which won't ha cause harm not to the health of the people or not to the environment yeah yeah uh, but the recycling of plastics first uh, uh, it may be not possible because it uh, causes a lot of expensive amount of uh, charge to recycle them it may also take a lot of time to recycle them and there plastics is a petrochemical it's a polymer so there are different ways to recycle it there are different types of plastics and there are different ways to recycle them one way is depolymerization in which the polymers are completely broken down back to their original form to monomers and they can be completely reused for different products a complete new product can be made from that plastic which was previously something else so that problem has been have a, it has a solution so she said that uh, the recycling plastic uses much of energy so the energy that Uh, the energy from from plastics can be used uh, to make to for thermal electrical energy. Thermal energy can be uh, made into electrical energy. Okay, then what's the point? Thermal to electrical. You are so I will expand on that. Okay. What she is trying to say is there are plastic incineration in a controlled environment with a cap with actually a business with controlled incineration of plastic. the emissions which are caused the harmful gases or any gases that can be converted into heat energy thermal energy and it can be converted into electrical energy so everything is controlled and there is no emissions into the environment so that way whatever you are burning there incinerate you are giving you are getting energy from it in return so there is no uh, harmful uh, effects of it to the public uh, it is killing the terrestrial wildlife and also it is uh, when the animals they eat the waste thrown plastic garbage and uh, they are getting ill and many of the animals are dying in the same process how can we stop it so all of those your point see the problem is here is not plastic but how we are disposing plastic what we are doing is we we are not educating people on how to dispose of plastic the uh, the trs exist in society but no many of us do not implement on the trs has the wildlife is uh, getting affected as i said they are consuming plastic if we educate people how to actually use the trs like the we have many places where you give your products for recycling they they uh, they make products from this for example you have many companies like her who actually make products from the uh, plastics so uh, the problem here is not plastic but the way we are disposing so basically what she says is If a sweet box put in front of you, plastic is dumped in lands and oceans, causing massive pollution and environmental problems. This is more. There is more than 12.7 million tons of plastic in our oceans as of now, which is affecting the marine life and animals. Again, it's how we dispose plastics. Uh, plastics really have a valuable place in our uh, in our society. In the modern society, plastic is widely used. uh it's not only uh, us everyone have plastic bag at home it's how we reuse and not dump it basically scientists uh, some scientists are attempting to make uh, plastic safer and suitable so there are uh, there are scientists who are doing researches who are coming up with solutions because of our mistakes it's we who dispose it in, in the incorrect way again i took my word we are responsible for the pollution the plastic remains as it is We are using it in a uh, uh, what you say harmful way that is affecting our lives. How can we know the water we are drinking or the water which is coming from the pipes is safer? As you guys said, it's a way that is uh, getting safer by the technology. How can we know it is safer as nowadays? 
the world is safe from the plastic pipes which are coming to us. Listen, we have already started the purification of water. So we are sure with the sign uh, with the people who invented the purification of water also. It's not harmful. That water that which is coming to you is not harmful. We have studied it, it goes through screening, it goes through purification, and we know that it's not harmful. We even remove the small small particles which are coming. So I don't think it's really harmful. Yeah, and if you want, uh, the water is also coming boiled sometimes, so it's really not harmful. All the organisms who are harmful, they're dead, so it's nothing there. there. And you said that we should educate people. So as a way that people will actually listen to us. People won't listen to us if they just say it like, uh, in this debate. Not many people will actually listen to us. They listen to our money and will forget it. Forget it in the other second. Show us a way that will actually, the, this what actually really brings. I completely agree with that, and it's a business of spreading awareness will last more than what we get, and I know how difficult it is. Thanks for letting me go about this. We need to really show the harmful effects that are causing people will understand. Like, people won't go, uh, like, Okay, this is happening uh, happening to us, but we still use plastic. Like for instance, we can take COVID. People got to know the harmful effects. People are dying. They know that COVID is harm, uh, giving them a lot of harm. So people were there inside. They will uh, following lockdown very nicely. So like when you actually spread the awareness in a proper way and uh, tell the actual harmful effects that are happening, people will stop because people uh, today they want to live. And when you tell that plastic is causing harm to your lives, that if you're uh, like if you're telling that plastic is causing harm, if you if you actually give awareness and spread awareness that plastic is actually kind of uh, harmful to us, but if you dispose it properly, it won't be. So people will listen to you. Um, what about the poor people? How will we educate them? We have to go to the slum areas and also uh, the normal people who live over here on the sheds and all. We have to go over there, check their houses full of garbage, full of plastics. That's the way we should say others. Just saying that proper uh, disposal in a proper way won't help. What is the proper way to dispose it? Lockdown happened. As she, uh, as she said that poor people are using plastics. If they are poor, if they are that poor, then how are they buying plastics? And if they are buying also, there are many poor people who recycle the plastics. Because they, don't, they can't afford to buy again and again the plastics. What about this? And so they start to come. I think we won't go that far. And as you said, for ideas about how to educate people on reusing, or since our landfills are already filled with pollution, um, since social media is a very big uh, thing and influence our lives, as many YouTubers, many social influencers gather people from places and they actually go to places and create. Beaches are one example. We've seen many influencers go clean beaches. And this is literally an operation that is taking place in nowadays. So there are people who are willing to clean. It's just that it is the baby steps that affect. We can't expect the whole population to just agree on one point and start uh, contributing to that problem. Everyone has their opinions and people who are poor, they are working for the uh, for the betterment of the environment and the lifestyle. So yeah, that's what I'm going Another point I would like to add on that. that she said people. You, I and everybody here are people. We have to try and to make a change. See, as you said, it is it, it, people just don't get up and change in one day. It is a process, as she said, it takes baby steps. So one thing we can do here is target the youth the younger kids, the younger generation, because it is easier to shape minds which are still developing. So as they are here, the Babal NGO is here to educate us, to give us information on how this is. We have to do the same. Educate the kids. We are in line. You are in line. We are in 10. We are high school kids. We can even start educating younger kids of primary. They are very smart these days. Gen Alpha is very smart. They are not dumb. We can educate them on plastic. They know how to use phones, laptops better than us. So if we see, it's a why did actu people actually follow the rules of COVID? Because they knew it was a threat to their life. If they did not follow, they had the fear of death.
there is a fear for everybody. And if we target that fear, saying that if people do not follow the same rules for plastic uh, control or reducing, it will harm them. So in the same way, we have to be very strong and we have to be emotional at some times to, to actually show people that it is harmful and it's not just some cause which people are just arguing about. It's not just some cult group. It is actually a cause which needs people to understand about this. So we have to make a change. You and I, we all are people. We have to do this together. We have to educate people. Thank you. That's such a wonderful debate. We are maybe having about 10 minutes left in this. I will uh, give some points why plastic is popular. So one point on that we will discuss. Then we will go to another point. Okay? Plastic is lightweight. It has its own advantages because of its lightweight. So uh, uh, this is the argument for plastic. Keep it plastic. Use it plastic. So those who are wanting to see it, they are Okay? One is lightweight. Is cheaper and another basic reason is for plastic is Yeah. 
and food in the plastic bags are not healthy and can cause deadly diseases. See, children who are not
so many foreign against opponents and uh, really people have done uh, lots of uh, homework and exercise on this and uh, uh, we will continue this debate in other ways we will uh, discuss with the management and come up with the ways that you can continue to participate in this it's a wonderful thing right now we will have a very quick uh, photo opportunity uh, the principal mayor is expected here in the moment then uh, uh, we will uh, have a close for today's awareness. Meanwhile, till the ma'am comes, any questions you have? Last thing, what any development, environmental, sustainability, anything? Yes, sure. Any question? After all this, I wanted to ask, how are you? Like, how is your uh, organization trying to ban plastic and less we use? Uh, but still, somehow uh, I didn't get in touch with the school. My apologies for that. This is a wonderful school doing a very nice work educating the people. And uh, I just take a quick walk in the tour in the campus, and I was so surprised and pleasant surprise to see so many messages related to environment. That's a, a clear indication that the quality of education and uh, what contents they are giving to the students here. But uh, as an icing on the cake, when I saw the paintings that the people are doing, posters, and also the debate, the quality of the debate is of a very high standard. And uh, thank you, ma'am, for you and your very great team for uh, doing this wonderful work. And uh, we will be continuing to watch on with you uh, in more environmental awareness activities. And uh, as a gesture for today's program, I request the principal, ma'am to give a clap and declare this awareness camp open. Please. Yeah. Now I request them to say a few words, concluding uh, over to Ms. Verne. Thank you very much, team from Global NGO. Well, um, as I said before, we have talent. This will be the chance. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much for organizing such a wonderful session where our students can you know, come up with their ideas and everything. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll again you know, meet soon with other activities, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. students slightly older than you, maybe a couple of years, are from one set of students are from UPES University, Dehradun in Uttarakhand, and one set of students are from IKFA University, that's in Hyderabad, and uh, near Hyderabad there's one more university, Waxel University. These people have joined for two month internship with Babul NGO, and uh, what you were able to see, these wonderful posters, cloth, as the quality. Everything is covered with them. So I request on all our team behalf, Kirtana, to say a few words. So, so uh, firstly, thank you everybody for your support and coordination. And of course, if you guys volunteer and being so supportive, the team couldn't have been as great as it is today. And I would also like to thank Principal Mark. She's been so supportive. And uh, we are students as well, you know, we are learning everything from the rules, especially the management. And ma'am helped us through the process and I would really like to thank you for that ma'am. And we would love to associate with your school again. And once again, thank you all. And let's try to contribute to the change. Thank you.
काय गोष्ट विषित आहे या योर प्रोडक्शन इज ऍक्सिलेंटली करेक्ट टुडे वी हॅव बाबुल फिल्म प्रोडक्शन टीम विद अस दे यू ऑल नो दॅट रिसेंटली वी हॅव द इन कॉम्पिटिशन ऑन पोस्टर मेकिंग सो वी हॅव फोर विनर्स हियर वन ऑफ ग्रेट फाइव एंड सेक सॉरी फाइव एंड सिक्स बॉयज अँड गर्ल्स फोर विनर्स वी हॅव सो आय वुड लाईक द बाबुल टीम टू प्लीज कम ऑन द स्टेज give a huge clap for them I also request Ms. Mehana to come on the dais. Now I request Kirtana to announce the winner's name and give that particular painting to me so that I can talk about it a bit and then the prize will be given. But before that, I request the principal madam to say a few words. Well, uh, I really thank Babu and Ju to come over and uh, bring in awareness in our students in regards to the environment and how we need to take care of it, right? And uh, after a while in the first period, uh, I want teachers to you know, send uh, these two girls to our class. Uh, here we will be, uh, be calculating the carbon footprint using an application. right the carbon is rising in our uh, environment and uh, there is a way how we calculate how individually we are you know responsible for this rise so hence uh, these people will help us to calculate the carbon footprint uh, using an application which later you can teach to your class also so i would uh, request two students per class right uh, this hajwa can arrange for the same inshallah fine All right. Uh, thank you very much for being here and being bringing in the awareness uh, in terms of environment and also, Ashala, uh, I've seen the posters. Good job, girls and uh, boys. Actually, uh, the boys assembly is there. So all of you have done pretty well. But again, winners can have only be few, right? So don't get disheartened. You were participating. You participated, and you. What did you do to the poster? You express your feelings, right? Right. Okay, so that's that's again um, um, something good that you've done. So don't be disheartened if you're not uh, getting a prize or something. All right, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, you can announce the winners. Thank you, Mr. Man, and uh, thanks for allowing us to be in the assembly. This has taken me back to my school days. I studied in Mystery School. Every day we used to have a bus from the library. And this is a wonderful experience here that you are reciting verses from Quran and translating it. And Quran, there are so many verses that are closely related to environment. It's a responsibility of us to take care of fellow human beings and also other platforms. So it's really we are doing a project on this, and if you are interested, you can join us. The project is how. Quran expresses the interest in nature and the importance of protecting and development. Okay, and uh, we are Babur Film Society, very closely located to you. You deserve to have a degree, and uh, what we do is spread awareness about environmental issues. It is good that you are coming on time with your wonderful school, and we will continue to do lots of workshops with you. to industrial activity management to spread environmental awareness and uh, at this moment i would like to give this open uh, give me books in that the best to yeah this is the festival booklet as you can see Uh, this is the sixth edition of the Babur International Environmental Film Festival. This is completely dedicated for environmental films, and we also have lots of uh, fun activities uh, related to environment, biodiversity, and sustainability. This happened in December, uh, June, two uh, months back, and uh, already we have launched the next edition. And uh, along with this book, to the delegates, we give a delegate kit. Which has some other environmental books and some other information. 
uh, I now want to give this the latest statement to give this to the principal. All these are breaking to films. This will be premiered worldwide in YouTube today, 4 30 pm onwards. In our office, we have a small uh, screening room which are around 20 people, something like that. So, those who are nearby, those parents can bring them, please talk to them. You are always welcome. Our office is located in the building Sarigama. Where Axis Bank is located, it's very close to you, besides the Axis Bank. And uh, now, Kitana, can you give me one change? You have to announce what you do. Can you announce? Good morning, everyone. So, the winner to see three boys is Sire. Yeah, now the final one, 7D. Any guesses? 
Thank you so much.